Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 129. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here now for the GT1 Invitational. Shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Come on. Oh, I've got that song in my head now. Aston Martin DBR9 would take it for this one. Starting off with Sunset Peninsula. A mouthy coast. Very... Very interesting. It's a very short race, but I presume that's because we're only going like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, Circuit de Catalunya, Maple Valley, Le Mans, and then Sedona. Let's get going. Looks like I'm not buying a new chair for Christmas then. The pain you feel, the life. I would have liked that. Fucking Nuka Cola chair, but. Me not allowed. It's too expensive. It's 430 fucking quid. The best, the best, the best of you. Oh god, this Aston Martin's quick. Fuck me. Is someone getting the best, the best, the best, the best of you? I still cannot get out of my head. Um, Taylor Hawkins kid playing fucking um, My Hero. That's honestly like one of the most heartwarming videos I've ever seen. So cool. The best of you. Hunting the night time, watching the skyline. <laughs> this thing is really fucking quick. I'm very glad we picked it. Oh, the engine sounds awesome as well. Under the white light Watching the skyline Is it another one of those Swedish house Mafia songs? Fucking love it Fucking out, that's a lot of time off of the last lap. Like nine seconds worth. Oh, <laughs> oh that tap towards the rear, that was so cool. Watching this night time. <laughs> Oh, 
Abba buoy. Come on, get back home. There we go. Give friend. Yeah, so it'll probably be 12 minutes 30 that we're looking at total time for this. Fuck it now. Nice corner there. Oh crap. I've hit the wall there. No tight deal. I fucking love this. Like this this is more a meme why this song exists, but it's literally the name of a car, technically. So. Ooh, Barracuda. <laughs> what a fucking tune. GTA San Andreas flashbacks. I have not played San Andreas yet. I have played, like, 30 minutes of it. Mm. Struggling to play it. Compared to GTA 4, which is actually fairly playable, because it's a more modern title. GTA San Andreas, it's... Eh, I don't know. I'm not sold on it yet. I'll give it another shot once I finish GTA 4, I think. But at the moment, my main game is... I'm still not even finished with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I finished the main storyline of Odyssey. Finally took fucking forever. Um, I tried to finish the first Atlantis storyline, the one that's in the base game, not the Fate of Atlantis one. But because of the fact I'm not a high enough level, I've had to fast track, do the first DLC, and then come back to it, and then do the Fate of Atlantis DLC. So I'm playing through the first DLC of Assassin's Creed Odyssey at the moment. So far, it's alright. It's actually a lot easier than the main game, I think, because it seems to be auto-selecting the quests you need to do. So I think you just zip through that. If there's a couple of extra quests, do them. That's what I'm planning on doing. I just don't know how many hours it is to actually do the DLC. I think I read somewhere it was about 12 hours plus side missions for the first DLC. But Fate of Atlantis is apparently fucking massive, so I wouldn't be surprised if I've got 100 hours of playtime on Assassin's Creed Odyssey before I finish that game. Would not be surprised at all. I mean, if you look on my Steam account, it actually says that I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey now because the way that Steam does it if a game gets opened on the Steam Deck, 
it basically saves the state of the game for a certain time. Um, and basically just says the game is still running. That way you can't have like two instances of the game running or stuff like that. So it does class me as still playing Assassin's Creed, even though my Steam Deck is off. In sleep mode, not powered off. I could be the one to set you free. be the one to make you feel that way. Oh, that Undersea was close. Let's have a look at the interior of this car. Oh, it's boring. The whole speedo's covered up by the steering wheel. That's great. I'm inside the car. I'm pretending to be inside the car. I could be the one to make you feel that way. One final lap. Let's see how well we can do this. Come on. I already own Assassin's Creed Origins, actually, so I'm ready to... As soon as I finish Odyssey and finish all the DLC, I've got Origins to do. Um, I, th I think the main reason why I'm really enjoying it is because of the fact that the quality of the game on Steam Deck runs exact, like, as a minimum, runs exactly the same as how it did on the Xbox One. And I think, as much as I'm against games being made at 30 FPS, there are some games that are really well optimized that work at 30 FPS, and Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey is one of those games, well, two of those games. Same with Red Dead Redemption and GTA, actually. They are games that work really well at 30 frames a second because they're so well optimized for that frame rate. And that's why it's so easy to play that game on... Because as well, the Steam Deck can play Assassin's Creed Odyssey at about 45 frames a second on average. Some parts of it is 60, some parts of it drop down to 30. But because if you lock it at 30, you actually get a better battery life out of it as well than most other AAA games, which is crazy to think about. Like, it runs on a fairly decent graphics quality, and yet it looks awesome, you know, very strange. So, uh, as surprised to no one, Tanak has been signed to M Sport, which I, I'm happy about, because I don't think Oit Tanak deserves to be out of the seat for the WRC. Like, Tanak is a fucking talented individual. He's fucking amazing when it comes to rallying. I think once he's in that Puma, I think he'll actually have potential to get a world championship. Because that Puma, other than, like, technical faults, which I really hope they improve on their reliability next year, 
but that Puma is quite easily the fastest car on the grid. I think it's faster than... Cheers. I think it's faster than the Toyota, but ever so slightly. But I think if they if they nail down and crack down on that um, reliability problems, I think we could see M Sport and Tanak get a world championship, maybe. But I, I can guarantee Thierry Neuville is Hyundai's number one driver. Calais Rumpere is Toyota's number one driver. And Tanak is going to be M Sport's number one driver. Um, I'm not sure if Loeb's going to do a season this year. I think with how... Um, Extreme E's going. I think he might focus on that more, to be honest. Because Extreme E's gone... I think he won the World Championship, didn't he? With Lewis Hamilton's team, right? Not 100% sure. Oh, that was a very bad idea. Yeah, so I... I hope for the sake of the drivers that have missed out this year... That Loeb doesn't get a seat. I'd like to see Formo... And Oliver Solberg share a seat. Uh, not Formo. Pierre-Louis Lebert. Uh, Formo, I just think, isn't that great. Um, Pierre-Louis is a lot more consistent. Um, and I mean, Pierre-Louis, his outing in Acropolis this year was fucking phenomenal. I've never seen a driver do something that crazy. Other than Lewis Hamilton back when he did Formula 1. First time in Formula 1 and he got like third place I think it was which is just unbelievable but yeah I really don't see um, Loeb having a season next year I would like to see Solberg um, Pierre-Louis, Lubert, having, like, a joint car. I I'd love Solberg to have a full season, but I don't think that that makes sense. I think they'll have those two as, like, a joint car. And then, uh, what was their other driver? Probably Gus Greensmith. I think Gus Greensmith's probably going to be on M Sport again. I really hope so, because Gus is such a character on the grid. I was gutted when they announced that Craig Breen wasn't going to be on the grid, because he's like the character magnet. But, ah oh well. We'll see what happens. But uh, based on the fact that they've already announced that Tanak is in M Sport next year. Oh, that was a reverse gear drift. Very nice. I lost the position, but oh well. Um, here we go. Get out the way. Idiot. Yeah, so I I believe very soon we're going to find out more about it. 
Oh, the saline's got engine damage. Haha, <laughs> serves you right, you prick. Get out of the way, asshole. Oh no, now that I've done that, Maserati's coming for me. Fuck. Bollocks. Still holding them off, so I suppose that's good. Do 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 Not bad. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Yeah, the Maserati is on my ass still. It's very difficult to actually gain positions in this, so... This is sort of like the Monaco of... Forza Motorsport, pretty much. Do you know, there are so many tracks that I really hope they add to... For With Forza Motorsport having, like, five years off... They have had plenty of time to rework their, like, sound model... I'm obviously not sure if the next motorsport I'm going to do in this series because it might be a live service, but if they make this new motorsport, I really hope they've got some good tracks now. Like, obviously the old stuff should still be there, but we should see a lot more tracks. I really hope. Because if there's not a lot more tracks... Then, what have they been doing for five years kind of thing? Oh, get your ass back. I'm literally swapping from first to second and that's it. Maybe a third gear here and there. Holy shit, we got two more laps to go. Come on. I am. I'm very ahead of schedule, actually. Half an hour ahead. Though it's probably more like 20 minutes ahead. But typically at this point of the stream, after this race, I'd be... Um, what is it? Two hours and 40 minutes in? That would be my aim. Actually, no. Two hours and 50 because the 10, 10 minutes start. So my aim would be 2 hours 50 minutes at this point at the end of this race and we're at 2.14. So yeah, about 35 minutes ahead of schedule. So this is... Oh, fucking bastard. When I say that, I might 
go back to being on top. If I had a lost that, I would have had to have done the race again. That would have pissed me off. I mean, I could have rewound, to be fair. Well, there's only so far you can rewind, though. If I didn't get the position back, I probably would have rewound quite, quite a distance. Uh, looks like we're fine. Tits. I got our medium at the moment. So, but difficulty doesn't really bother me. I'm not like trying to do, oh, I'm trying to do like 100% difficulty and complete the game. No, I'm not like that. I'm just trying to have fun. That's fair enough. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Mm, chocolate. Yum. Aston Martin Racing. This is literally episode three. Like the last race in episode three of today's recording session. By the end of this, we're going to be well ahead of where we need to be. I will leave. Right out the door. Over, 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 drive. Over, 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 drive. Over, 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 drive. Oh, it's like ice. Oh my god, that was terrible. We are literally half an hour ahead of schedule, which is awesome. I love that. I love that we're ahead of schedule. It very rarely happens when we're playing Forza at the moment. So to be ahead of schedule is good. It means more free time for me. Or I can record more stuff, which again means more free time for me in the future. Boom, boom. Bum. Bum. Bum bum. 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 <laughs> bum. Bum bum. 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 <laughs> oh, I can't even take myself seriously anymore. Oh, I love this. Good bit of high contrast. No, you say you love me. No, you say you love me. You say you love me. No, you.
This is a tube. Love it. Oh, it's a beautiful engine noise. I love this. Good tunes, good cars, good everything. Ah, lovely. Banana bum, banana banana bum, banana bum, banana bum, banana bum. Oh no! Oh no, I have understeered and I am on ice. I am on the ice. It is slippy. Bloody hell, this thing is, is such a good car. Honestly, it's so good. Bridgestone. We make bridges out of stones. Say you love me. Now you say you love me. Now you say you love me. Now you say you love me. You say you love me. Yeah. Listen.
Right, we've got two more laps to go round Catalonia. Honestly, the amount of races in this game is unreal, and the fact that Motorsport 4 is longer just has me a bit concerned. Obviously, have no problem with these games being this long. It just means it's gonna take a while to finish. I mean, for me, the plan was to finish this game within, I don't know. Oh, the last few races are going to be mental, like the championships. Some of them are going to be across, like, four episodes. I know the final championship will literally take one sh whole entire stream and some, probably, to complete. Like, I'd have to do a six-hour stream for that. I'm planning on that, though. I might do a 12 hour stream and just get a load of shit done. Some point in probably February it will be. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, 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 ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, dong, do 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 dong. Dong, 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 ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, dong. Watch you. And I'm back from getting my wet drink. That took a very long time to get a beverage. Glad you didn't die. <laughs> I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling alright. Baby, I'm, a, I'm the best fucking night of my life. Do you know what's sad? Is there are people that know this song that don't know the original? That's what's sad. That's why I hate when people, like, remake old songs. Even then, a hot chocolate shouldn't take you 20 minutes to make. Or well, 10 minutes, whatever. This is the sad part about remakes of songs, though. Like, people forget what the originals are. Like, oh, do you know the original of this song? No. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -huh.